President Tsai Ing-wen has approved a military reshuffle that takes effect on May 1st. Most notably, Navy Commander Mei Jiashu will take over as Chief of the General Staff, filling a post left vacant by the retirement of Chen Baoyu. May boasts impressive credentials and is known for his finesse in handling delicate situations. Lawmakers and military experts have widely praised the appointment. President Tsai Ing-wen has approved a reshuffle of top military officials. Current Chief of the General Staff Chen Baoyu is set to retire later this month. His post will be assumed by Navy Admiral Mei Jiashu. On behalf of the Navy, I would like to offer an apology to the general public. Bowing an apology, May was the public face of the military in 2020 after COVID broke out on the Panshu supply ship. May also demonstrated his crisis management skills during the 2017 Qingfu shipbuilding scandal and the Xiongfeng 3 missile mishap of 2016. His experience and training are strong, but even so, the promotion came earlier than expected based on his military rank. This appointment highlights the fact that in the event of instability in the Taiwan Strait, our priority is to secure maritime dominance. I think Tsai Ing-wen's choice to opt for younger staff with international experience is good. I've only heard positive things about him, about his human touch. He's not overly stern. The post of Navy commander will be taken over by Vice Chief of General Staff Tang Hua, who also hails from the Navy. From the Army, Commander Xu Yanpu will become Vice Minister of Defense and be put in charge of armaments. Vice Commander Zhong Shu Ming will be promoted to commander. All the appointments will take effect on May 1st. All of the generals have international experience, particularly with the U.S. They are younger, they have international experience, and they can integrate Navy, Army, and Air Force resources to counter China's threat. With China's aggression mounting, Tsai has moved to reorganize the military in her last year in office to strengthen and reform Taiwan's armed forces. The changes are aimed at preparing Taiwan's military for an ever-changing international environment.